Welcome back to the Daily Vault Run. Today is October 21st, 2024. We already have our crystal ready. Let me just check tomorrow's. And mm, Emeralds is technically speaking the worst of these, but at the very least I can just go to the village next door and totally easily get some of those if I don't already have some stockpiled. And I'm pretty sure I do from the emergency build phase. Uh-huh. Wait, hold on. What is this made out of? Red quartz from Botania. Interesting. I don't think that's useful for anything other than strictly aesthetics. So, I'm not going to go crazy, like, trying to loot all of this stuff or anything like that. We also have a guardian vault, and it looks like a fairly easy one, comparatively speaking. Which is nice. It would, it would be good to actually, you know, finish a vault after the last couple of days' performance. We're all boosted. Let's get in there. Okay, I'm pretty sure I already have pink leaves, right? But this is basically just the candy vault again. You, you Why do you keep giving me candy vaults, game? Uh... Okay, let me think about this. I need to be smart. There we go. That's using my brain. Okay, so this is probably a mining room. There's potentially a, whatchamacallit, objective up there. It could either be a god altar, or it could be something else. I think that's a living... Well, no, it is the darker shade of green. Okay. Oh, and I see sparkles. Yep, we know exactly what that is. I'm going to hit it, then jump back down. Oh, I should have hit the pylon while I was at it. That was such a silly idea of mine. Wait, eh. Okay, this is actually what I wanted to do. Get it into the hallway, just bottleneck them. Um, bottleneck them without running into pillars, please. Okay, there we go. Get a little bit of HP regen because I have already run out of my buffs. Why am I like this? Okay, I'm just gonna, like, sort of walk them around to this corner. Wait a minute, are you all ranged? Just mostly ranged, got it. Oh, okay, and there's seven of them. No wonder things kinda suck. Ow. Yeah, if I just keep kiting them in a circle, this is fine. It's not very exciting for gameplay, but it is going to help me survive. It would also be really... Oh, wait a minute. I need to remember that the last pylon I touch is going to take me out of the dungeon. Why do I keep calling it a dungeon? It's a vault. Alright. Well, that's one objective down. And... I have just had the most giga brain move. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if the thing that's up here is a god altar. Uh, no? Wait. Do pylons also count? Oh, no, it was a god altar. Yes, okay. So, I'm going to pop this. That was a bad idea. I'm realizing immediately that was a bad idea. Should have saved that for the end. Anyway, so the Giga Brain idea that I was going to use if that had been a, another obelisk is that uh, I would have just saved it for the end. I would have just saved it for the end, popped it, and then if everything goes horribly wrong, then I could at least retreat to the exit and nothing of value would be lost. Okay, uh, I need to think. I need to think. Uh, my brain is not braining. Um... I'm also trying to remember what I used in the last Candyland vault. When I say the last Candyland vault, it wasn't it just yesterday? Hold on. No, it was two days ago. Yesterday was the library. That's right. Okay, yes. 
I've spawned in something. Yep. Gummy peoples. Man, you are a pretty weak sauce champion. Which is a good thing, because I would have been so frustrated if that had been, like, vampiric. I think I might actually do the around the entrance strat, just because it'll get me potentially a lot of variety. And we also know that the entrance is a mining room, so if I have a lot of time, then I can just go back there and start mining away. Okay, gilded chests. Gilded chests. I need to remember this. I shouldn't be taking my time working on anything other than those. Oh, okay, so not only are they bouncy, they also slow you down if you try to walk through them. Interesting. Good to know. Ow. Okay, I see a dungeon, like an actual dungeon door over to my right. It's at a higher difficulty than normal, though. Uh, uh, oh, no, those are the ornate chests. Uh, I hate that I always confuse how you call gilded versus ornate chests. Like, I obviously know the difference, and gilded is clearly, you know, gold. But I see the ornate ones, and I go, that's the same thing, right? No, 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 it's not. They're distinctly different, and I even know that because, you know, they're red and black versus gold and black. There's some more ornate over there. Oh. Alright, well, even if I somehow managed not to get back to the mining room... Wait a minute, I've just remembered my bounty is to mine two upaline ore. So, maybe I actually do want to get back to the main room as soon as possible. Um, let's see, I'm downstairs, right? Yeah, okay, and that's not going to be worth it. Nope, I'm too much of a coward and or underpowered to be able to do that, I think. Okay, I must have come in from that side. So I'm going to do around the entrance, and if I manage to make it back to the entrance without having found two more pylons or whatever, then I'm just going to start mining and not even wasting time. Um, boop, 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 boop. Okay, I don't see any sparkly things up top. I also didn't see any gilded, so I'm just going to hop down here. I see living. Living is good. There's some gilded. I don't think we're going to quite manage to get Valara's challenge done in time, which means that we're going to get, like, a really nasty debuff at some point. But... Nothing ventured. Whoop! For a second, I thought that was another dungeon door. No, it's just a an aesthetic block. And it doesn't help that we're also looking for sparkly-looking things in a dungeon that has a lot of particle effects drifting down. So yeah, sure, the direction of the particle effect is the most important qualifier there, but just the fact that you have a whole lot of white sparkly things when you're looking for white sparkly things does not help.
Ah, okay, crimson. That makes sense. Oh, I just realized I was on my axe. No wonder all the timings felt wrong. And there's another dungeon door. Like, I'm not going in there. I hate that I'm taking more time than strictly necessary because of these dang tank mobs. Okay, and I'm also going to have to validate at some point in time that I still have all of my buffs. Uh, let's see, okay, so we have that, 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 uh, turtle shell is still up. Yeah, okay, that is all of them. Now, where did I see that gilded? Come on, give me the gilded. Here it is. Okay, and that strong box clearly counts. That's good. Um... No, I'm just going to nope on out. I didn't see anything down there, so we're just going to keep going. And at this point in time, I just need to find where I came in and then go left. Okay, so there's where I came in. This is left. We are now approaching behind the vault entrance. Or we should be. Hey, look at that obelisk. Easy obelisk. Click. All right, first I'm going to clear out this area because clearly, you know, we have one of these. I wonder... If you break the spawner before all the enemies can spawn, is that even possible? Because I feel like running in and triggering some enemies might potentially be a strat, and then just breaking the spawner before the rest can spawn. I feel like maybe that's a thing. Let me know if you've tested that. Not that I necessarily think that more experienced Vault Hunters players are actually watching this. Uh, I mean, it's possible. Okay, uh, let me think about this. Oh yeah, dirt. I forgot that I can basically do that. Um, let me just confirm the direction I came in. And like I said, we should be behind. So I'm gonna do this and then start retreating across the way. And I'm just going to go all the way through so we can see what's in the next thing. No more gilded in here. There does appear to potentially be a pylon or an altar downstairs just there. So... Oh, Arbalist Guardians, why can't they always be you? Okay, buffs are down. Turtle shell and ice. Okay. Those are like my two most important ones. Wait. What? Cool down. Okay. So maybe they're just like still on. The icons just not displaying because they're not in effect? I don't understand. Come on, come on. Oh, okay. I knew that was going to be a longer fight, but I didn't like how that worked out. Okay, so now I need to turn left, and I've already determined that there's something upstairs, did I say? I think I said upstairs. So I'm just going to poke up here. I don't anticipate staying up here. Yeah, no. I'm just going to leave um, to the left yeah. And this could be a case of, even if I don't find the thing, the last, you know, pylon, obelisk, obelisk is a word, then I might still head back to the entrance. We are now on the side of the entrance. And just get that mining room. Again, because of the upaline. Oh. Is it Upaline or Upaline? I'm not sure. There we 
are. Okay, so now I'm not too fussed about Gilded. Um, oh, okay. Here. Here's the last one. We're on the right side, or, you know, the, the clockwise most side of the exit from the exit. So, I think... Um, hello? Ugh. I hate swimming in chocolate. Okay, the question is, do I pop this and run, or do I mine and come back? I think I mine and come back. Um, I just need to remember that this is... Clockwise. Clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. Okay, and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a dude like that, because that's technically now the exit. Unless there's one in this room, which would be even better, but... Ugh, I'm on cooldown. I'm on cooldown and it would take too much time to check compared to a guaranteed one in that room. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two like that, then I'm gonna put one like this, and now we should be back in the original starting room. Right? I think? Yes. So, now we can go ahead, mind to our heart's content, duck back there, and it should take less than two minutes to kill the guardians, right? So, actually, I just want to be as fast as I possibly can anyway. I don't want to potentially lose just because I took too long to get back there. Okay, one spawn behind me, I think. Very good. And actually, I might start heading back there around the five minute mark, just because I do know that this is potentially going to take longer than I think it's going to take. And that way, we don't lose out on actually finishing a vault, just because I wanted to get some oopaline for a bounty that is technically speaking more trivial than actually finishing a vault at this level of difficulty. That's just my analysis. Um. Okay, I can worry about inventory management later. I think that's all the ones up top. Just have to do all the ones on the first floor. Now, I'm pretty sure I previously spawned some of the mobs down here, so... With luck, I'm not going to be doing too much fighting. Also, I wish I knew what Oopaline looked like. Like, I'm 100% sure I've already seen it and even have some back in the vault. I mean, vault, base. But, consciously, I just don't remember what it looks like, so... that all of them? Okay, there's one left. Okay, I'm not sure if it's the nerves, the caffeine, the adrenaline, or what, but I am shaking. <laughs> okay, um, whew. all right. Now we make it back to the arbalist room. Or, er, why am I calling it the 
arbalist room. It's because there are arbalist uh, enemies, guardians, and there are... It's also an obelisk, so I think I just... Uh, I think I multi-track drifted words again. <laughs> alright. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, so we know the exit's there. This time I'm going to be smart, and I'm going to pre-drink this. And then we're going to get up there, and then we're going to start retreating towards the exit. That's just the best strat, especially because... We know for a fact that we have seven guardians to deal with here. And rather than using the chocolate, we're just gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Um, all of my buffs appear to be active. Yeet. Why did I do that when I could have landed in the chocolate? All right, I'm still gonna keep retreating towards this. Just so I know which way is out if I need it. I hate being a pincushion. Okay, two of them are down. Oh, three of them are down. Oh, oh yes. Come on. We've got this. I could have spent so much more time in this vault. But you know what? A complete vault is a good vault. Okay, we finally got another level. Let's break it down. That's a lot of XP. Um, yeah, so guardian vaults. Uh, the objective is totally worth it again. Uh, 32,000 XP off of the objective, uh, 19,914 off of killing mobs, uh, then mind blocks, 5,392, and 4,224 4, from chests. That's pretty awesome. We also got a boss crate, heck yeah. Collected 10 coin piles, 48 ores mined, uh, 29 chests looted, and 158 mobs killed. It was also an enlightened vault. That explains a lot. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Let's see here. 16 wooden, 5 living, 3 gilded, and 5 ornate. Wait, 3 gilded and 5 ornate? Yeah, I said that in the right order, I think. 10 coin piles. Uh, did I get any upaline? No, I did not. That's a big sad. So it's a good thing I saved it for last instead of like trying to take so much time. Actually, I think... The main difference is I knew about the urgency when I was mining these, and if I'd done it first, I wouldn't have been thinking nearly as urgently, and I might not have gotten to that last obelisk in time. So, I think we did this in the right order. I don't even need to look at this to tell you that the Arbalist and Bruiser Guardians are going to have the most XP density. And there we go. I have to do a little bit of inventory management. Not too much, but just a little bit so that I can pick up my weight. No, that's right, I didn't get the bounty. Why am I saying that? If I just put these away, then I should surely have enough space to be able to open this. And... Yeah, that's slightly more organized. Oh, wow. All right, that's a lot of good stuff. Um, Since we only have two items that are in need of identification, I'm going to just do it here. So let's take a look at the stat booster pack real quick. Okay, attack damage is nice. Mm, I'm going to go with the attack damage, just because I think that's going to be better for what I currently have. Eh, eh, come on. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. And, yeah, I'm just going to slot it in next to this. And not that it matters, I don't think I have any cards that synergize off of other cards currently, but that's just what I'm dealing with for now. Put this away. Roll on the chest plate first. Shadow King. Interesting. Eh, but the stats aren't that good. The crafting potential is also sad. And yeah, I think my current one is going to just last a lot longer, so I'm just going to stick with that. Now let's roll on the shield. Whoa, that is such a hard shield. Hard as in, like, aesthetically, not... Oh, and I apparently have a magnet, too, that we can roll on. So, I don't really use shields, but this one makes me wish I did. Um, does it say what the percent block chance is? Or are shields, like, purely for thorns at this late in the game? I'm not, I'm genuinely not sure. And last but not least, the Magnet, which doesn't actually have a transmog, so... 
Why don't magnets have transmogs? There are more than one type of magnet. All right, let's see. Um, mining speed. I do like the increased item rarity. I do kind of wish it had copiously, though. Um, lower durability on the whole. Higher velocity. Higher range. That is pretty nice. I will give it that. I could potentially re-roll on this a couple of times to try to make it something more like I would want, but I think my current magnet's better. And I guess we'll also do the mob... Why do I keep calling it a mob box? Mod box. While we're looking at... It's another blaze burner. Eh. It's another blaze burner. <laughs> and that is going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell to be notified. And as always, I'm looking forward to your feedback in the comments below. And with that, I will catch you on the flip side. Thanks for watching, everybody.